Comcast. Hello, in this edition of Chemcast, we are going to look at predicting products of reactions for single displacement reactions. Get your periodic table, common ions, list of solubility rules, and your activity series chart and have those handy. Here's our reaction. Sodium phosphate and potassium. That's not much there, but we can figure out just by knowing that it's a compound sodium phosphate with a single atom, a metal, potassium, we know that this is a single displacement reaction. Okay, let's write our reactants. Sodium's a plus one charge, a phosphate's a minus three, so we get Na3PO4 plus K for potassium. Now, the Na and the K are going to flip-flop places. That's what's getting displaced. So our products, therefore, are K3PO4, since K is a positive one ion, and Na, solid sodium metal. We balance that by putting a 3 out in front of the K and a 3 out in front of the Na, and that's balanced. Now, does this reaction really take place? Well, we have to look at K and Na as an ion and see which one is higher up on our activity series. Higher up means that it's more reactive. Since K is the most reactive metal of any metal, then it is always going to bump out the other metal and react to form some kind of ionic compound. So yes, in fact, this reaction does happen and solid Na is formed. If we check our solubility rules, we will see that K3PO4 is an aqueous compound because it has a group one metal. Now let's take a look at a second reaction. Silver plus aluminum nitrate. Okay, it's also a single displacement reaction. Let's see what happens. First we have Ag plus aluminum's a plus three, a nitrate's a minus one, so we get Al parentheses NO3 close parentheses three. Then the Al and the Ag will switch places. So our products are Al plus AgNO3. To balance this, I need a 3 in front of the Ag and a 3 in front of the AgNO3. Then that balances. Okay, now does this reaction really happen? I look for Ag and I look for Al on the activity series and I see that Ag as a metal is very low. It's not very reactive. So it does not have the reactivity it needs to bump out that Al. So this reaction does not occur, and I write no reaction. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Whitman Chemtech.